Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Deborah here, and today I'm going to show you how I make a diaper boat. These are the things you're going to need, and I'm going to put a list down in the description below. So for the base of the boat, I took 20 diapers and made a diaper circle by um, cascading them into my 12 inch cake pan. If you don't have a 12 inch cake pan, you can use something smaller or you can use a shallow box. Something that you can use to hold the diapers in until you get the rubber band around. Once I put the rubber band around, I just um, evenly spaced out the diapers so it can look neat and uniformed. Once I've got the diaper circle relatively neat and uniform, I put both packs of wipes inside of the center. I'm using two packs of wipes because it makes it leveled with the diapers and it gives it that oval shape that I'm going to need for the boat. Again, I'm going to space out the diapers just so the packs of wipes can be evenly centered around the diaper oval. So I took the base out of the pan and placed it on a cardboard sheet just so it's easier to decorate. Now I'm going to take four more diapers and alternate them because the diaper fold is a little thicker than the end. So um, I want them to be even, so I'm just gonna alternate them. These are gonna go in the front and they're going to make the bow of the boat. Now I'm gonna get another diaper and roll it up. I'm not gonna put a rubber band around it. I'm just going to stick it between the oval and the bow and just squeeze a little bit so it can get that triangular shape for the bow. Now I'm going to wrap my blankets around. I took one of my blankets and started from the back and wrapped it around evenly um, to the front. I didn't tape it down because I'm trying to use a, um, as less tape as possible, but um, I'm just going to tuck it in to the diapers to hold it still until I can put the front um, blanket around. Now I'm taking my other receiving blanket and I'm going to evenly wrap it around the front of the boat. I'm going to tape each of the sides down, but I'm going to end up removing it later because when I wrap the ribbon around, the ribbon is going to hold the blankets in place. Now I'm going to add some ribbon to the base of my boat. I'm wrapping it around the base so I can measure it and then I'll cut it and glue the ends together. I'm actually going to do this for both of the ribbons that I'm going to use. Now I forgot to do this here, but you want to take one of your washcloths and cover up the diaper wipes. You'll see I remember to do this later. I feel like it's easier to glue the ends together and then slide the ribbon down the diaper cake, but everyone has their preference. Now I'm going to take a blank white sheet of paper and wrap it around my empty paper towel roll. This is going to be the mast of the boat. Yes, I learned a new word for you guys. You're welcome. So I've already made a smaller diaper cake circle using 10 diapers. I'm going to put the mast inside and to hold it still, I'm going to take three lollipop sticks and stick it from the top um, diaper cake into the bottom. The wipes are in the way so I'm going to place them on the sides and back of the wipes. I've already measured, cut, and glued the ribbon I'm going to use for this one and I'm just going to slide it over 
like I did for the bottom ribbon. So it's easier for me to decorate the diaper cake if I can move it around easier. So I pulled out my trusty turntable. Now I'm going to glue the ribbon directly onto the other ribbon. Um, there's no risk of getting it on the diapers and I figured doing it this way is a lot easier. As you can see, the ribbons are kind of cricket, but I do fix that. Now I'm going to cover up the tube with both body suits. I'm using two just so I can get um, good coverage on the tube, so none of the white shows. As you can see, I'm not taping them. I'm just tucking them into the diapers and into the top of the tube. This keeps it secure fairly well. I'm adding more ribbon to wrap around the body suits to continue the theme of the diaper boat. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what this is. It's either a light or smoke, but something needed to go there. And this is when I realized I forgot to cover the wipes with the washcloth. So I gently took off the top. It's pretty sturdy as you can see, I lay, laid it down and it didn't fall apart. But yeah, I'm gonna cover up the wipes with the washcloth and then I will place um, the rest of my boat back on. Now I'm going to make the sail of the boat using the other washcloth. I'm going to fold it into a square and then place some double-sided tape at the corners. Then I'll take my cake pop and place it at one of the sides of the washcloth and fold it in to make a triangle. Then I'll take some more double-sided tape and place it on the side, uh, the straight side of the sail and this will help it attach to the mast. I placed the bib on but I ended up not liking the way it looked so I removed it so I'm going to skip this part. I cut out some nautical shapes that I'm going to add to the diaper boat. The anchor I'm going to place in the front using the glue gun and I have a ship's wheel and I'm going to add the ship's wheel to the top. Now what you see is me gluing the ship wheel to the ribbon on the mast but I decided to take that off and glue it to a stick instead. I finished it off with this cute little frog and now our diaper boat is complete. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.